Hello people, I've got a new Photoshop tutorial for you today. Now we are going to convert a simple image like this one and into a image filled with text and colors. What I call this is a picture with thousand words. Now let's get started. Fire off Photoshop, then load the image you want to convert, then select it and go on the select menu, color range, and from the drop down menu select shadows and press ok now what this does is it selects all the shadows in the image so press ctrl C and ctrl J to copy the shadows into a new layer now select the background layer again now we are going to select the midtones this time go to color range uh, from the drop down menu select midtones press OK now press ctrl C to copy and ctrl J to paste into a new layer now you can turn up the background layer and now select the midtones layer which you have just created and go on the edit menu and fill it with 50% uh, gray be sure to check the preserve transparency button press OK then select the shadows layer go on the edit and then fill and this time use the black color and preserve transparency should be on this side always and then you merge these two layers by right clicking them merge layers so this is the basic image that we are going to work with now we need the text to actually uh, fill up the image so make a new uh, document something like that in Photoshop and uh, actually get a text copied from anywhere else like this ctrl C to copy it use the text button with a big T over there and select the area where you want the text to be and this size should be smaller than the image so uh, it will be easier for us in the letter so then ctrl D to paste Again and control V again uh, so as to fill up the whole uh, frame and check this we have use the rectangular marquee tool and select around this thing we are going to make a brush preset preset R with this uh, with the selected image go on the edit menu and define brush preset and name this anything like test uh, test is wrong test 1 12 and ok now you can close this all together now create a new layer uh, maybe 2 and select the bottom one new layer and press ctrl and backspace to fill it with white and uh, you have to hide this layer for a while so hide it and select the upper layer and select the brush you have just created from your menu brush menu yes and turn the opacity up to a uh, hundred percent Increase the brush size by the big bracket button and just paint along. That's too much. Okay, we have done it. So, uh, Docs. Now, selecting the layer that you have just uh, made with the text, turn off its visibility by checking the I button. Then select the uh, background layer that you have just created using shadows and midtones. Press Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy all. Now, on the text layer, Turn its visibility on 
and the background layer is off. Add a new layer mask by hitting this add layer mask button down over there and press alt to the layer alt and click on the layer mask so that only the layer mask will be displayed. Now paste the pixels that you have just copied like that. Press Ctrl D to deselect and Ctrl I to invert this. So you have a negative looking image over there. Now select the actual text thing and turn on the background white layer so you have a pretty basic uh, outline of Angelina Jolie uh, in the text layer so select the text button uh, text layer sorry and we are going to apply some effects on it so add a layer style click on this button and choose the gradient overlay Now you have to choose a gradient, uh, which should be uh, any colorful gradient to do just fine. And you change the blending mode to screen. Okay, now we have 90% completed our work. Now, but it just like looks like a woman just staring into the world. So to define its engineering naturally, we are going to select a soft brush and decrease its opacity to uh, 33 or 30 percent increase its size and we are going to paint over the text layer not the layer mask layer but the text layer using black as our foreground color so as we paint here the features of the actual image becomes visible This little stroke should do, and my computer is taking too much time to render this. And after that, you have a pretty decent photo that is somewhat looks like embedded in the text okay now that is about 98 percent of the job now if you want like a single uh, letter to be repeated over and over again uh, you could uh, do that also like just oh, I'm going to show you an example just uh, add a new layer and I have already made a brush preset of uh, my name on it. So there we go. Increase the size, and from the brush presets, uh, what you call window, go under the brush tab, and turn on the shape dynamics and the scattering, so that it, if you turn off scattering, then it will just become a blur. If you turn off scattering something really uh, makes some sense so done scattering as per your wish turn it down and just paint along the places you want it you want it turn on the transparency to 100 percent I forgot to do that okay so now this doesn't look that pretty so select the layer that we made just with the uh, text and copy layer style and paste onto this layer that we have just made and it all looks better thank you for watching now watch my other videos too i think i'll make them soon